the function of the design team is to consider the constraints along the route um, and figure out the best way to provide a, an alignment through the site. Um, so some of those constraints um, include land use, there's also archaeological and cultural sites that are constraints, other environmentally sensitive sites, areas of native bush, uh, floodplains, um, wildlife habitat and that sort of thing. Um, other constraints are um, existing transport infrastructure, railway corridor, existing utility services, another example. So following an, an initial assessment of the uh, constraints, we looked at developing options that um, provide an alignment along the site, trying to balance the, the engineering against the, you know, the impacts on the social and environmental aspects of the project. We assessed those alignments against various criteria and that helped inform an indicative route. The physical form of the road is more than just the road surface. Um, there's the embankments, the fill slopes, um, drainage features, um, catch pits, culverts, stormwater ponds, um, number of structures as well, um, number of bridges, um, looking at a tunnel as well, uh, retaining walls, noise walls. Um, so the, the actual footprint of the road is a lot bigger than just the, the road surface you see. So the road itself will be dual carriageway, two lanes in each direction, separated by a median barrier. There'll be connections with the local road network at interchanges uh, that'll be grade separated. The, the road's going to be a much safer standard than the existing road, which has very steep grades that aren't efficient for freight, um, and that has a lot of tight curves, so much safer, much safer environment for all motorists. The dome itself um, is very steep, uh, a lot of valleys and size gullies, and so to get an alignment through there is very challenging. So to balance the, the earthworks against providing a, a fit-for-purpose design for the alignment, uh, we've had to adopt a tunnel through that area. Um, that helps minimise the earthworks um, and also the environmental um, impact or footprint of the project. The treatment of stormwater is important as well. Um, there's a lot of runoff that will come off the road, so we need to consider stormwater ponds so that the receiving environment, the existing streams and rivers, are getting improved water quality. So the design teams look to minimise the um, impact of the project by getting a cut fill balance. Um, so that helps during construction, avoids hauling materials down existing road networks, and also minimises the, the footprint of the overall project. It's the construction of the highway is going to have a number of impacts. Generally it's related to traffic, noise and dust. Because the route's predominantly offline, so it's clear of the existing state highway, so between uh, Walkworth and Hotio, it's to the west of the existing state highway and north of that it's to the east. It means that um, all of the, the big earthworks machinery is going to be hauling along the route rather than using the existing road network.